Uh, this is One Lonely Tie, and today I am bringing to you Tetrisphere. And this is a game that I played for most of my life. I spent countless hours, countless hours, playing this game. And um, one of the main reasons is actually the music in this game. So before I start playing, I will show you some of the music. So we start out with uh, Lucid, not too bad. Overall, uh, a lot of the music is a little bit different. I'm only showing short clips because they they do slowly change continually throughout. So I kind of don't want to be spending three minutes on each track. But um, Phony here is um, one of my preferred, actually, to be honest. That's why it's longer. Um, T Gray is actually pretty good. It starts to progress a lot better later on. Learn. Yeah, I don't really like this one. It's not bad, it's soothing, but you know what? When you're playing, you it's, it's I don't know, Can't I can't follow through with it. It's too slow. I need something more upbeat. But, um, yeah. Oh, this one, obviously, is the title music. It even says title right there for you, just in case you can't figure it out. Azul Lux is not bad. I must say. Um, you can put the music on auto, random, or choose. So random is just it randomizes automat and then automatic just automatically plays through. And choose is you get to pick which song. Comply and confuse. This one sounds like kind of like background crap at first, but it, it gets a little bit better, I must say. I promise you, I promise you, it gets a lot better. Phase is also another one that I find is good to play with. Um, I find Phase phony, and um, I can't remember the other one. Um, it's the one I ended up picking. But um, those ones, they're a lot more upbeat, so when you're playing, it, you can... I don't know. I think I play better with them. Oh, yeah. Manic Drum Mix. This is the one I ended up picking, and ended up playing through with this one, because that's a good beat. So first off, I am going to play some Rescue, but um, you can pick a name, as you can see. You can pick which bot you are, and basically, you can. the one I have is an average between speed and, um, I guess, um, handling, I guess you could say. Um, like... What I mean by handling is like when you stop pressing a direction, whether or not um, your um, shadow keeps sliding to another piece or whichever. Because some of them, the faster they are, they have less handling or whichever, and yeah. And this is basically how the game plays through. And this is basically, um, you need to take off the pieces, those little white squares, and you need to rescue the little dude on the inside. Now, after quite a little distance, I um, not not very far actually. Um, I decided I would show you each of your little um, extra items. First is your fireworks. Second is your dynamite. And um, uh, what would you call the, the next one? Is oh yeah, your magnet is the third one. Uh, fourth one, I don't know what to call it, but it's my favorite to be honest. It just kind of takes off a layer of the entire globe. It's pretty handy. I usually don't use them anyways though. Um, then we got basically a nuke. And on the lower levels like these, it's not as effective. This goes through about three layers, but on this I only had two. This one is the last one, and it's a magnet of some sort of laser, I don't know. I don't really like it. But it can get straight through um, deep cores. That sounds very strange. Very, very strange. Alright. And basically, I played quite through and forgot I was recording, and um, eh, about an hour later on this, I got to the end of this part. I got to episode 5, round 10. And, um, yeah. It took a little while, but I got it. And, um, 
I don't even know what to say about it. It's um, it's a fairly easy game in all considerations. Sometimes, like, generally the only time I die is when I do something really stupid. It's generally not because something gets difficult or I run out of time. But if you run out of time, it automatically drops a piece and then you're basically fucked. But, um, yeah, and then... So after beating that, you get this little end credit screen thingy. And my dweeby character has found his soulmate. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh. Oh, look at that. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's pretty ridiculous. Oh, that's so romantic. Oh, hearts. Okay. Credits start. You go through and you're like, ooh, that's a weird globe thingy. I don't know what it is. You're like, ah. Oh. Um, also, the song playing is Extol from Tracks that I showed you. And then after the credits, it says this. And basically, after that, I kind of suicided. Because it automatically starts you into episode 6, and I just suicided. It is a bit more difficult, but. I didn't feel like playing anymore when I realized how long I've been playing. So then I went to Versus Computer. Now, it, it's very simple. It's a lot like multiplayer, but multiplayer is a lot better because you can choose how many layers. Like, you can get up to five layers on your little globe. And um, you can also choose how many core pieces you have to take off. When you get to five le levels, you can get up to 99 little white squares of core that you have to uncover. And on this, it doesn't really get that high up. Well, it does, but later on, it, it takes a little bit to get there. All in one sitting, it takes a little while. It's not exactly hard, it's just you get really tired. But, um, yeah, basically, I was owning myself on this one. Figured I might as well show one of my games. But, um, as you can see, it, that little shadow is, like, freaking cracking out all hell and you have no idea how much that was messing me up I was oh I was getting screwed right up on that one um, anytime they the other character would send me black pieces and um, black pieces you can't um, you can't um, drop blocks on them you have to um, connect them to a normal block and then drop a block on the normal one and then it can get rid of the black ones but when you send out combos it sends mass amounts of black pieces. They either just change for little amounts or it drops them from the sky, which actually really messes you up. If you go to press down a block, some black pieces start falling and you press a block on top of the black pieces. And it's basically the reason why nobody will play multiplayer with me on this game is I, I play a bit too much of this game. And so I basically brutally murder everyone I know. And also, I don't know anybody who's good at this game. Well, my brother's starting to get better. Just because I make them play with me, but um, that's about as far as it goes. Um, otherwise, um, yeah, basically summarizes my experience with this game. Um, it is really fun, and um, but the main part is the soundtrack. The soundtrack is what it's all for so check it out if you like it and thank you for watching until next time